Hey everybody, welcome to Fight Network's Downtown Studios. I'm John Ramdean alongside Robin Black. Coming up this weekend, UFC 209 goes down at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. The main event, the rematch for the UFC's 170 pound championship, champion Tyron Woodley taking on Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. I will tell you, I went and looked uh, at the first fight that went down in New York City, and I know a lot of people felt that it was a draw. Clearly, Tyron Woodley ended up winning that first round. A lot of damage, laid out um, Stephen Thompson. Thompson winning the second round, and I think the third round is the round that's up for debate because when I looked at it objectively, yes, Thompson's moving forward, but they both do the same type of work. I felt that uh, the third round should be a 10-10 round. I had, well, sure, you could. You can make it a 10-10, and then Woodley would be the winner. Yeah. I had, you know, rounds two, three, and five for Wonderboy. Yeah. Um, edging out three rounds, and then Woodley, like, dominating two. That feels like a draw to me, sure. but it depends where you, I mean, if you were going by the judging criteria, hey, it's a draw, which is why we got a draw. Yeah. But if you're going by who'd you rather be, which is uh, something that fans Woodley. often do, you'd rather be Tyron Woodley. Uh, but I think this is the best thing for both these guys. Agreed. You know, let's really work this thing out. Let's get these guys in the cage and work this thing out. Woodley did what he does best. He landed uh, the heavy, heavy, heavy right hand, and he got uh, Wonderboy to the ground and laid a beating on him. Let's just do more of that if we're Tyron Woodley. If we're Stephen Wonderboy, we got to make more adjustments. And one of those is let's maybe not start moving right towards this guy again, which was how he started that fight off. If you look instead at fights that he did even better, like Rory, we're moving laterally. We're yep. not moving straight at Rory. Yes, we moved straight at uh, Johnny Hendricks. Yep. We moved straight at Johnny Hendricks. That worked. We moved straight at Tyron Woodley. It did not work. One of the things that I heard criticism about Tyron Woodley in that first fight with the Wonder Boy was the fact that he was so close to the cage. He always had his back against the cage. Duke Rufus said you want to be in the open playing field. But if you're Tyron Woodley and you can explode so fast, you want to be able to push uh, Thompson right across the cage opposed to being in the mm -hmm. center and only having a couple of steps before you get your full acceleration. Yep, you've got the ability to drive second, third, fourth, drive all the way in. But if, if uh, Wonder Boy moves laterally, that you're driving on your own. And he's over here somewhere. But so, your, your genetics, because you're so explosive, Woodley has, you know, he has the the ability to close that distance, maybe e even before Wonder Boy can react. He does, and there is the room to be able to do that. But it's also a, a vibe and a feeling. There's a comfort that you have, a familiarity that fighters develop in when things are going the way that they've gone many times for them, and it's worked. In bullfighting, they call it a querencia where the bull just feels a little extra invigorated. Coherencia, it's called. And Tyron Woodley's coherencia is with his back to the cage. He just feels the most dangerous from there. Because I'm only moving forward. Yeah, yeah. I'm we know where we, we got all this room to drive this guy. If we get even a piece of his hip, I'm going to drive him until we hit that cage. Uh, Tyron Woodley's coherencia is back against the cage. And it's hard to train that bull. It's hard to train a human. It's hard to train anybody, anything. We, we start to make adaptations in our mind of what works for us. And for Tyron Woodley, Duke and other training uh, partners and coaches that he's had, I'm sure, are trying to change him. But that man is the champion of the world. And part of that game is that comfort he feels against how, how important is it that Tyron Woodley get a takedown early in this fight just to introduce that idea or a reminder to Stephen Thompson that I can do this at any point. Yeah, sure. Wouldn't it be good for, for Woodley and for his team to see that takedown, that fly through the air and the huge impact as he settles back inside that guard to start literally saying, remember this, remember this, that of course, that's what you want. But you can't live and die by that either. If you don't get a hold of them, take down number one, take down number two, take down number eight, you got to keep going. But that's going. the full, exactly yeah. the philosophy of wrestling is if you don't get them after the first one, you go for the second, third, fourth, you keep going until you get it. Can he do that for 25 minutes? Hey, listen, Wonder Boy is very special. Uh, that fight that he had with Woodley, Woodley showed the level that he's really at to be able to take this guy who seemed to be uh, almost impossible to get a hold of. Rory couldn't. Yeah. Rory couldn't get a tried. hold of him. And Rory is a spectacular athlete. To take this incredible athlete and be able to really control him to that degree. Tyron Woodley is the champion of the world. This is real. Uh, there are people out there who do and don't like him. They, they think they know who he is personally, which we don't. You don't get that from a few seconds of, mm -hmm. of seeing somebody on Twitter or on television. Tyron Woodley is the welterweight champion of the world. It's on Stephen Thompson to go take it from him. He has to go in there and he has to take it from him. He's up to that. This fight's spectacular. This, as rematches go, this is as good as they come because Woodley can take what he did well and build on it. 
Wonder Boy has to take what he learned and he has to make some changes. If you're Woodley, uh, it's the assignment, okay, what is assignment number one? Is it to land the right hand to make sure you can inflict damage? If you drop Steven Thompson, land the hand, inflict uh, damage with ground strikes. Number two, ensure you get the takedown. What, what, what is option three, what is option four and five and so on? Uh, it's, tr it's a very interesting one for me, playing to your strengths, really knowing what your strengths are and building on it. We've got fighters like Brock Lesnar, fighters like Habib Nurmagomedov, fighters like Damian Maya, fighters like Ronda Rousey, who knew what their strength was. Only Ronda's really had that derailed. The rest of them, still, you can't stop them. You know what yeah. they do well, that is get you down and smash you up. Woodley is also that. And he's got that devastating power. He's got that crazy, and it's not just power, it's not just, oh, he's muscular and strong, it's skill. It's smooth, yeah. smooth, express skill. So he has that Lesnar, Maya, uh, uh, Habib, super uh, area, super strength, but he also has that ability to knock you out on the way, and just ask Robbie Lawler. If you're Steven Thompson, the strategy that you set uh, out for the first fight didn't work, what do you believe the adjustments are in the second fight? Is it just be more Steven Thompson? Yep, and slow down, man. He was in a hurry in round one, and uh, you don't get to go back and go, oh, damn, if I just fought yeah. that fight different, uh, you know. And well, you get to see it in this scenario. Yeah, exactly. You don't get to on the night. You go, and if you didn't get that rematch, and it, or if it wasn't a tie, you're like, you know, over beers, or in his case, sweet tea. Yeah. Uh, with your friends, you hang out, and you, oh, damn it, if I just shoulda, coulda, if woulda. I just coulda in round one. But you get to do it now. You get to look at what you did in that fight and express it differently. And in that first round, he was way too happy to try to get to this man and show all his offensive skills. He's got to try to make this man get to him. And we're talking about bulls. You've got to be a bullfighter. For Steven Thompson, is it important that he shuts down Woodley and his takedown game immediately to send a message to him? Best way to not get taken down is don't be there. And I think that's how he's going to approach this. Steven Thompson taking on Tyron Woodley. Will we see a new champion crowned at UFC 209? It goes down this Saturday night in Sin City.